We continue to follow breaking news this morning. A three-year-old girl has been shot and killed on Detroit's west side. Yeah, police still on the scene there. Let's get to 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson, who joins us live now. Jen, you've been talking with officers. You've been talking with neighbors. What can you tell us? Well, I can tell you, as you already know, that a three-year-old girl has died and that there are two adults who... As far as I have learned and can tell, are not her parents, but two adults that have been injured by gunshot wounds. And I can tell you that there are a number of investigators on the scene. You can see actually just next to this police car here, there is a marker that is next to a shell casing, and there are markers just like that one that span about 40 yards or so along the street here. I spoke with one of the neighbors who is uh, lives on the street right next door to the home that she says was the subject and kind of the target of this gunfire and she said it's been a pretty terrifying day and so far this morning as you can see in this video uh, we've seen a number of officers walking around we've seen them actually talking with people putting them in the back of their vehicles but then escorting them back to the home so it appears to be uh, perhaps witnesses or, or people in some of the homes that they're investigating as of now as of the last time I was able to speak with officers they are still looking for a suspect and this entire morning really has been pretty terrifying for this one neighbor I spoke with. She didn't want to go on camera, but she did speak with me over the phone. Someone next door has stated that it was a dry, the shooting started in the home, and I'm not so sure, but I believe that they said that the guy came back, and that's where he shot the house up. Yeah, she said it's just been a pretty terrifying morning. And of course, uh, she said she actually has been consoling and speaking with the mother of that three year old child, who, as you imagine, is just heartbroken this morning. I spoke with a police officer briefly who wasn't able to share anything with me, but his voice was definitely shaking and breaking as he was just giving me some really bare bones information. He seemed emotional. And I can imagine that anybody who was here uh, when this three year old little girl was shot, you know, you can't help but be emotional. On a scene like this today, and hopefully, police are able to catch this suspect soon. As of now, they haven't given us a description. We do know that they have requested video from one of the landlords of one of these homes who has surveillance cameras, likely to try to put together the pieces of exactly what happened around 2 or 2 30 this morning. Reporting live here in Detroit, I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.